Hi, let's learn about what is anatomy. Anatomy is the scientific study of the structure of an organism and also its parts. This includes the appearance, position of various parts. the development, the material which they are composed of and the relationship with the other parts. Whenever we learn anatomy, it is important to learn about physiology too. Physiology deals with the function of those parts, for example, the function of the heart, how it pumps. Biochemistry. Biochemistry deals with the chemical processes or chemical reactions that take place within the cell. For example, glucose metabolism, protein synthesis, lipid synthesis, and so on. Anatomy can be classified into two categories based on their size. One is macroscopic anatomy or gross anatomy and microscopic anatomy. Macroscopic anatomy is the study of structures which are large enough to be seen with the naked eye without, the, without any help of microscope. In microscopic anatomy, the structures are very tiny so we need microscope to study them. Macroscopic anatomy also includes superficial anatomy or surface anatomy and microscopic anatomy includes histology and embryology. What is cytology? Cytology is the study of cells whereas histology is the study of tissue or tissues. When the group of cells perform the same function is known as tissue. Tissues mainly four types epithelial tissue, muscular tissue, nervous tissue, and connective tissue. What is embryology? Embryology is the study of organisms in immature condition. That is studying about its prenatal development. Prenatal means before birth. That is the development occurs during the intrauterine life. When the sperm and the ovum fuse together, it forms a new cell called zygote. This process is known as fertilization. From fertilization to 8 weeks after fertilization, we have to call the baby as embryo. From 9 weeks until birth, we have to call the baby as fetus. From birth to 4 weeks after birth, we have to call this baby as neonate or newborn from one month after birth to one year we call this baby as infant from one to three years we call them toddlers three to six years we call them preschoolers six to twelve school aged children and 13 to 18 we call them adolescent 19 to 40 young adults 41 to 65 middle aged adult over 65, older adult. Let's learn how our body is organized. Atom, molecules, macromolecules, they form organelle and cell, tissue and then organ, then organ system, then all together form organism.